Robert Banuelos purchased a California king bed from J.C. Penney in September. But when the delivery truck arrived, the workers unloaded a standard king, not a California king. So he refused delivery and rescheduled. On the second attempt, the same thing happened, as well as the third and the fourth wrong bed and refused delivery. So Robert contacted our consumer team for help. When we reached out to J.C. Penney, it confirmed with the vendor that the correct mattress would be shipped. But the fifth delivery in early December was wrong again. So it was causing all the mix-ups. In a statement, J.C. Penney said there was a coding issue associated with a different size box spring. The store then rescheduled delivery of the bed. We're happy to report attempt number six worked. For the trouble, J.C. Penney also gave Robert a full $2,300 refund. He plans to donate $1,000 of the refund to Sacred Heart Community Services. If you get a delivery, do what Robert did. Check the product before it's unloaded or installed to make sure it's exactly what you ordered. If you have a consumer complaint, call us at 888-996-TIPS or log on to nbcbayarea.com slash responds. Julie Woodall bought two pairs of shoes in Macy's Finish Line store for her son. Eight months later, he still hadn't worn a pair, so Julie tried to return them and get her $87 back. Eight months is a long time, but Julie says Macy's website said she had a year to return the shoes. The store said no. She only had 45 days. Julie escalated her complaint unsuccessfully, so she asked us for help. We did a simple internet search and found two Macy's pages. One says it accepts finish line returns for a year. The other says 45 days. So we contacted the store. Macy's gave Julie her $87 and said we have apologized for the inconvenience she experienced. But what about those two conflicting return policies? Macy says that the web page reads one year was an archive and outdated. The store thanked us for pointing out the error. It then removed the page from its website. P.S. By state law, you're only entitled to a seven-day window to bring back merchandise. Most stores are more generous. Still, if you're not head over heels in love with whatever it is you're buying, it's best to check the return policy before you check out. If you have a consumer complaint, call us at 1-88-996-TIPS or log on to nbcbayarea.com slash responds. Punch it in had someone else's name on it. Aeromexico couldn't sort it out, so Juan had to buy a new ticket on the spot, arriving in Oakland seven hours and $685 later. Juan then asked us to help figure out what happened. Delta traced the breakdown to Juan's confirmation code. It said, Aeromexico may have assigned the same confirmation number as Delta's confirmation number to another passenger. Delta then agreed to refund Juan the $260 he spent on the original ticket. Juan took it. He said he appreciated our help. When one airline handles a flight for a different airline, they call it code sharing. It's vital for passengers like you and I and Juan to reconfirm code share flights to make sure the partner airlines are on the same page. If you have a consumer complaint, call us at 888-996-TIPS or log on to nbcbayarea.com slash responds. Stephanie Bells told us she rented an apartment from Stone Ridge Apartments sight unseen this past June. She said it was too dirty to live in, so she, the complex offered an alternative apartment. Stephanie said the condition of that one was also unacceptable. At that point, she says the apartment terminated her lease. Uh, Stephanie says the landlord kept her deposit and rent a total of $3,000, so she asked us to intervene. We got in touch with Lion Living, which manages Stone Ridge Apartments. Leon Living did not comment on Stephanie's uh, situation, but it agreed to refund her $3,300. Stephanie said, I appreciate all of your help with this. Thank you very much. Signing a lease sight unseen is a gamble. If you can, always try to tour the apartment before you agree to live in it. Also, take pictures and note the condition prior to signing a lease. If you have a consumer complaint, call us at 888-996-TIPS or log on to nbcbayarea.com slash responds. Patty Guerrero works at a dental office in Fremont. She says she paid $198 to attend a one-day seminar this past February to learn how to effectively bill insurance companies. Well, the seminar was canceled, but Patty couldn't get a refund. She called the company, Versatile Claims Resources, several times over the next few months, but couldn't get a response. So she turned to us for help. 
We contacted the company. It sent Patty a check for $198. The company didn't respond to our request to explain what happened. If you have a consumer complaint, do what Patty did and call us at 888-996-TIPS or log on to NBCBayArea.com response.